Did you know that where your body stores fat could increase your risk of developing dementia and Parkinson's disease? In today's video, we'll talk about a new study that was just published and the connection between high levels of body fat and an increased risk for neurodegenerative diseases. Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. I'm Rob King from Valley Senior Advisors. We help seniors find the best senior living options in the Phoenix area and our services are 100% free. Before we get started, download the Essential Arizona Assisted Living Guide for free at valleyseniorvisors.com forward slash assisted living guide or click the link in the description. Also hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. With that out of the way, let's talk about this study. Researchers from Chengdu, China just published a study that focuses on the correlation between body fat distribution and the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases. For this study, they used data from the UK Biobank, which is a large scale biomedical database that contains in-depth genetic health information from half a million participants in the UK. The study included health data on over 400,000 people over a period of nine years to see if they developed neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's or Parkinson's. In the participants, they first identified patterns in body composition, such as how fat and muscle are distributed in the body. They then used statistical analysis to see if these body composition patterns were linked to the risk of developing neurodegenerative diseases. This analysis took into account people's genetic risk for these diseases and whether they had family history for diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. They also did mediation analysis to figure out how much of the connection between body composition and neurodegenerative diseases could be explained by other known causes like heart disease and strokes. In simple terms, the researchers tracked a large group of people over time to see how different body types might influence the risk of developing diseases like Alzheimer's, considering their genetic background and family history. What they found in the study was very interesting. They found that participants with high levels of body fat, particularly in the abdomen and arm regions, showed significant increased risk of developing dementia and Parkinson's disease. Having higher levels of abdominal fat was linked to a 13% higher risk of neurodegenerative diseases, and higher levels of arm fat was associated with an 18% higher risk. These correlations existed even after adjusting for other risk factors. Conversely, participants with healthier balances of fat to muscle had an 8% lower risk of neurodegenerative diseases. Also, those with higher muscle strength were shown to be at a decreased risk. The participants with moderate levels of muscle strength had a 19% lower risk, and those with high muscle strength had a 26% lower risk. This suggests that muscle mass and strength might offer some protective benefits against developing these conditions. The researchers hypothesized that excess body fat, particularly in the abdomen, may contribute to inflammation and insulin resistance. Both of these are known to play roles in the development of neurodegenerative diseases. So based on the study's findings, what can you do to decrease your risk? Well, there are several things you can do to lower your risk of developing dementia and Parkinson's disease. Number one, which you might've guessed, is to engage in regular exercise. Exercise helps to reduce body fat and increase muscle strength, both of which are beneficial for your brain. Exercise doesn't have to be hard on the body either. There are plenty of low impact exercises like swimming, yoga, or even just walking that can get the blood flowing and reduce your risk. Number two is to adopt a healthy diet. Eating a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats can help maintain a healthy weight and reduce inflammation. Diets like the Mediterranean diet have been shown to be particularly effective. Number three is routine health checks. Make sure to get regular health screenings by your doctor. This can help to detect and manage risk factors such as high blood pressure, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels, which are linked to both obesity and neurodegenerative diseases. And finally, number four is to consider a senior living community. Even if you don't need help with daily activities, independent living can be a great solution for maintaining a healthy, active, and socially engaging lifestyle. These communities provide healthy meals and easy access to physical activities on a daily basis. Senior living communities also encourage social interaction, which can help to combat loneliness and depression and further support your cognitive health. If you have any questions about this study or would like some help finding senior living, give us a call, we'd be happy to help. If you got value from this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. You can hit the notification bell to be notified of when we post new videos. YouTube thinks you may also like this video. Go ahead and click it, let us know what you think. If we can help you or a loved one find senior living, give us a call. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care and we'll see you in the next video.